Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another video of Java Central Training Series. So this video is going to be about constructors. Let me explain to you what are constructors in Java. Constructors in Java is a special type of method that is used to initialize object. Java constructor is invoked at a time of object creation. It constructs a value such as provide data for an object. That is why it is known as constructor. There are two rules for creating a constructor in Java. The first rule is the constructor name should be the same name as the class name. Such as if I create a constructor in my main class, the constructor name has to be a main. So constructor must have no return type. And there are two types of constructor in Java. Default constructor, parameterized constructor. So the first thing what we're going to look at is a default constructor. All right, so now we're going to create a class. You can create a class by going to File Menu, New Java Class, right? So I'm going to name it Constructor. Okay, I hope I spelled right. All right, so we have a class here called Constructor. In the class, I'm going to declare a few variables. Let's say int x. Let's go back to our main class to access this class and create an object from this class. So what we do? I'm going to type constructor, okay? And then let's say I'll name it average, okay? So ABR is fine, right? Is equal to, new is a keyword, and then constructor, right? A semicolon. All right, so now that thing here, let's say that thing here, right? That thing. That's called a default constructor. A Java is a, it's smart enough to create a constructor for us. So if I go back here, I don't see any constructor here, but it's been created for us already. So let's say uh, I will go and run the class, main class, which has nothing to execute, right? So let's say uh, I have this constructor here, right? This is a default constructor without any parameters. So I'm going to go back to my constructor class and we're going to create that default constructor this time. So to create that, just type constructor as I told you guys that constructor name has to be same name of the class name. So this class name and constructor name should be the same. All right, and then it does not return, it can never return a return type like here. I'm returning that x, y, z multiply by multiply with each other and divide by three. It cannot return any type, right? So constructor name, add parentheses down here, add a code block, right? And then let's say this is a default constructor what we're using already to make our object, which is ABR, right? But let's say I'll come back here and I'll say system out, right? And let's say this is a constructor. Okay. All right. So now if I go back to my main class, as you can see, I haven't added any code yet. I'll run the class and guess what? It's going to execute that code. This is a constructor because we are using a default constructor. In the default constructor, now we have the value. If I get rid of this constructor here, it will still be there without any value inside. So that's a default constructor in Java. So what is the purpose for default constructor in Java? Default constructor provides a default value to an object like zero, null, etc, depending on the type. All right, so now let's look at another way of uh, giving values to this constructor, right? So I'm going to type let's say i will go x is equal to 10 y is equal to 10 z is equal to 10 right so the answer should be thousand because we will be using this method with that constructor so let's go back to main.java here i'm going to create a new object so to create an object use that class name and object name let's say average so a v e 
is equal to new is a keyword and then constructor again all right so now come down to next line and then say system out okay so now i will use that object dot and if i press dot you see that i have the uh, option of using that method now so what will matter do will use these values from this constructor and um, process the data and give us the result so now let's uh, just print it out all right so as you can see that we got 1000 is the returning value all right so now i'm going to use um, a method of called constructor overloading so what is the constructor overloading basically so you can define a multiple constructors by use giving this um, a parameters so let's say type constructor again in the parentheses now i'm going to type i for int is equal and that's going to be i and then say another int so let's give a value of uh, let's say b okay and then int c right so we have three parameters in the constructor now all right and here in the constructor i'm going to use those variables x is equal to i and y is equal to b z c sorry z is equal to c all right so we have three values initialized with these values now so we have two constructor right now let me show you how to use them okay so we're using first constructor which is a default constructor has three values all right so come down to the next line here and type constructor so avg1 because you have to create a new object for that is equal to new constructor okay and now come down to the next line add a semicolon system out right and then say avg ave1 dot get average method right okay so we're using that method but uh, there's going to be an error because we're using the same uh, method twice with that object now so instead of leaving that empty now i can pass the values to these values now so let's say i will hover over my cursor here and i will type let's say 10 comma 10 comma 10 okay all right so now let's run the program as you can see that the second result is 1000 as well because the second object is using the next constructor because it has the three parameters java compiler is smart enough to detect which constructor we are using okay so that's called constructor overloading you can create a multiple constructors i'll just give you a quick example of parameterized constructor right
as you can see that zero join zero because there is no parameter here we only have two parameters in the first constructor that is why it's giving us a zero a null value all right so that's kind of a parameterized constructor which has parameters we'll talk about it while we make some projects in java so for now thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe